over the last decade, I've used countless bags from different companies, different sizes, different capacities, different styles, things that are more rugged, things that are more sleek, maybe more fashionable, different situations like that. Now there's one specific bag that I have used 99% of the time. I've been able to take my camera gear, some extra clothes, computer, some other accessories, whatever it may be, I've been able to use it pretty much on every single situation. And I would definitely say it's one of those bags that really comes to being perfect for me. Of course, there are some flaws as with anything that we use because there's no material thing that's actually perfect. You can have the newest updated phone. You'll be happy, stoked with it, amazing camera. Next year when the next one comes out, this one's not gonna be perfect anymore. The bag that I've been using is a Chrome Industries Nico 3.0. This is the third camera bag that they made. And today I wanted to go through it, kind of show you guys how I pack it out and how I made it to work best for my needs on a daily basis. So let's head to the overhead rig and I'll show you guys what I mean. But yeah, this is the bag. It is, with this bag, it's pretty boxy. Some people like it, some people don't. I do like it. I kind of wish it was a little bit smaller, maybe like a 20, 20 liter one. But uh, I mean, this thing has been going with me everywhere, all over Sweden. Um, it's been to Estonia, it's been to London, it's been to Paris. Also took us to the US. Uh, it's been around, it's been in cold conditions, warm conditions, rainy conditions. So I'll start you guys off with a little bit about uh, the outside of the bag. It's solid, strong material. I've had this bag for a few years now. Uh, I've definitely put it through a lot. Uh, so of course there is wear and tear on this, especially here. I normally like bags that are a little bit more stronger when it comes to the, uh, the side pouches, since I don't just put water bottles, I put tripods in here. So the definitely eight. Through the material there, unfortunately, there are clips here. I do find that they do get uh, loose quite easily, especially if you're moving around, so they don't really have any like strongness. So when you're moving around, they do get loose, unfortunately, even when you have it uh, in this little mesh thingy, it just kind of opens up, which is a bit unfortunate. It's exactly the same on the left and right side of the bag, which is quite nice. So there's that consistency of a uh, space, whichever, whichever side you like, which I really do appreciate. This side of the bag, on the old version, it used to be Velcro straps that used to open and close so you can like put a skateboard in and close it up, or I would actually put a tripod this way. You can do it here as well, because it divides here but I really bag is water resistant and it does not come with an extra pouch. I have used this bag in the rain, uh, quite a lot of downpours, like consistent rain, not a drizzle, but a proper like downfall. Everything in the camera compartment has been fine, but some things up here have gotten a little moist. The laptop area, it has gotten moist and this little uh, extra pocket that I showed you, uh, it has gotten moist in here as well. I just have a, Few, uh, few little knickknacks in here. Little tea bag and such. But otherwise, I mean, this bag has been amazing. Uh, there is a top pocket here, which I do carry a few things. Right now I just have uh, headphones, pen. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And you open up this main compartment. This is actually quite nice and I found it to be quite useful. Uh, sometimes annoying, but useful. So it opens up like this. And then you have the uh, the main pocket here. On the old bags, you were able to unzip this and get into the camera compartment through here, which I do miss and is really nice. But uh, on, on this version, you do not have that. But I do like it's a very like soft material all the way on the insides. And if you have something that has Velcro on it, it easily sticks. So I usually have my charging bricks that have Velcro on it and then I can just stick it in different parts of my bag. It's not running around down here, but it's always just kind of snug here, just kind of hanging out, which I really do appreciate. And then you have this inside pouch, and in here I usually have a power bank, to kind of get uh, get me through the day if need be. Uh, but one thing, to, one thing to know is anything you put in here is going to change the amount of space you have here and vice versa. So that's something to keep in mind. 
but it is quite nice because you can kind of like see you can kind of see through the material obviously this is old um, used it a lot so a little bit dirtier oh this guy is really cool this is a case from Burton uh, I have not found it anywhere on their website I believe it's been discontinued a very long time ago uh, but it's made for like uh, accessories but I've actually made it to work really well for my uh, little tech pouch so literally here so anytime that I head out for a project I literally only take this my computer and then the charger inside of here I normally have an SSD but it's connected to my computer right now so I have the cord for the for the card reader it does XQD cards and SD cards which I really really like and I put some velcro on here as well so it just kind of sticks nicely there unfortunately this guy has been discontinued so I'm always looking on eBay for other versions because you know these guys do break over some time unfortunately but like size wise it fits perfectly here which I really love and then a um, another cord for my SSD drive and then this is just a little adapter for this but I have the uh, Samsung SSD the 2 terabyte and that guy fits perfectly right in here closes and stays nice and snug so it's nice to have literally everything I need to complete a project right in here so as you can see the zippers on this bag for the top portion they continue so this is one thing that I was first a bit confused about the bag of how it works because I haven't seen anything like this before. But that's literally how it is. So it opens up wider. I'm a bit 50-50 on whether I like it or not. I have found it to be very useful and I have found it to be very annoying. So as you, the pouch just opens up just completely. And it's got a pocket here. And with this pocket, it just, it goes right through. And it's pretty good size pocket. I usually add some extra wires. And then of course, this bottom part goes all the way down to the very end of the bag, stops right at the bottom. And then you have your laptop sleeve and then a tablet sleeve. Honestly, don't use this so much. Obviously, if you're gonna be opening this up a lot, you can put this guy on to keep the uh, laptop secure from uh, not falling out or anything like that. I have been in situations where the rain has been incredibly strong and my computer's been here, has been inside here. It did not get destroyed, but I did feel moisture in uh, several of uh, the areas of the bag, sometimes on the bottom as well. Even though it has these uh, zippers here, there's definitely some points on the bag where the moisture does leak in. But of course, that was like a massive downpour that I was in for three hours or so, so I didn't run away from the uh, the rain. Actually, I was taking pictures and it was, it was a really nice day. And of course, with these kind of uh, zipper closures, they can be a little tough to use, but uh, I mean, it's a solid bag. The reason why I keep coming back to Chrome Industry Bags is because it's the only company that I have found it's actually comfortable for my back. I have some back issues, so like what I put on my back I have to like really think about and really plan out properly otherwise it's not gonna be good uh, but chrome bags have always been very comfortable for me and that's why I keep coming back to them so here you have the straps strong stuff reflective material here also on the on the back side as well you can put in uh, some stuff here I have a peak design clip here which I love it's one of the best uh, little accessories I purchased and we have this guy here it's a uh, phone holder from Chrome as well. I usually use it to put a camera inside so it holds uh, quite nicely. And this is the Ricoh GR2. Super awesome camera. You got the flash. Unfortunately, they took it out on the third versions of the camera, but uh, super awesome uh, little handy camera. So that fits uh, really nicely, nice and snug. Otherwise, I have this in my pocket at all times. Even going to the grocery store. So let's start on this side of the bag. So on the previous version, you were not able to open up on the sides, only from the back. And I was really happy when they introduced these uh, side openings on this version of the bag. And I honestly, I was really excited, but I found myself not using them so often. At least not for the reason I thought. 
I actually ended up using for this purpose of having lights in my bag to easily grab these. These are the Amaran PT1C lights, pixel tube lights. But uh, yeah, these things are super nice, super fun uh, little lights. And then uh, obviously you have uh, a lot of these smaller ones, they have magnets here. But this one's quite nice because it's got a magnet here, but you can also turn it. So if you want to stick this underneath something but have the light pointing at you or away from you, then that's totally possible. You can open this up, take the battery out, switch it out for a new one, and then keep going instead of having like a power bank or something like that. So I have two of these lights just kind of hanging out in here. And then I always travel with uh, this little guy. It's one of those uh, little bags that uh, open up for grocery shopping and such and different uh, other reasons you can have. So I usually have that also Velcroed on the inside. Depending on what I put in my backpack, sometimes I'll have this guy up here, sometimes I'll have it down here for cushion. But right now it's been working out uh, to have it right up there. Then you have inside pockets, which I really love. These guys, so I usually have here maybe like some uh, little tools. Right now I have a little, uh, yeah one of those guys. And then here I have some uh, extra batteries for uh, some some other things that, uh, that I use every so often. The GoPro battery. So that's that side. Then we'll flip it over and go to the camera side. But here we have a laser that I also have Velcro on. So nice, uh, so it just kind of stays there. And this is one of those uh, home measuring lasers. Uh, so you can use it for that or it's nice for photos. It's very small, very light. And then on the inside pockets here, I have one area where I keep my batteries. Batteries for this camera specifically. And then one pocket that I have memory cards. So I usually always carry an extra XQD card an extra SD card and micro SD cards. And it's good to it's good to have extra cards and extra batteries that are always in your bag no matter what because you never know where you're going to find yourself in a situation where you're going to get to a shoot and realize you have no battery and you have no memory card and you realize it's at home inside of your computer. I speak from experience. So, main compartment. So the padding on the back is compared to many other camera bags quite small but for me I've never had any issues. Actually I've had issues with bags that had too much padding and it just felt very uncomfortable but when I wear this bag it feels like it's a part of me. If I'm moving forward the, the bag is moving forward which is uh, very uh, yeah it's very comfortable and the straps don't eat into your shoulders which is always nice. So here it is, the inside of the bag. So there is pockets here. I end up not putting very bulky items. Like I wouldn't put a filter case here with a filter because it's just, you'll feel it on your back. And then, I mean, these things are glass and it just doesn't seem safe. I have a lens cloth and uh, some of those uh, little, little wipes. And then in here I have, a little filter. This guy is plastic, so I'm not too concerned about that. And small tool that I use for a lot of different things. And then uh, these guys as well. So pretty solid. Uh, normally I have my Nikon Z6 in here, but it's being used currently up here, which you are viewing this video from. So I got my backup camera, which is the Nikon D750. This guy is awesome, solid camera, solid grip, love it. Use it for photo and uh, B camera. On the camera, I have a Nikon 85 1.8. It's not the 1.4, it's not a 1.2. It does perfectly great job and it's light which is really nice. For more of those uh, creamy bokeh shots, I have the Nikkor 105 
This thing is massive amounts of glass. It is beautiful when it comes to any kind of images you want to get, whether it's a uh, nice portrait in the studio or if you want to do stuff outside. I've used this many times for street photography. It is beautiful. So that's that. And then I have a 21.8 wide angle lens. Really nice, also super light. And then in here I have a pouch with some filters. These ones I can go over in a future video. There are some secret, secret good stuff here. And then I've been testing out some filters from a company called Vaxxas. So it's a rainbow dazzle filter, rainbow V streak filter. And then this guy, the half pearl, Laura, pearl Laura, pearl Laura, you can never pronounce it, but uh, this guy is super nice for nighttime shots. If you like that uh, fuzziness. So these guys are quite nice. Obviously I got the tube lights, but I also got this guy here, which is the Amaran MC. It's pretty, uh, it's got a lot of rust. Recently went exploring and uh, stuck this light on to things that have been sitting around for many, many years. But solid little light, does a great job. And then here I've built in a space for like some little accessories. So I have this little tripod, super small, super lightweight, metal. Uh, I can't give you the brand. All it says is handy tripod. There's like a little LN uh, with a globe. So maybe somebody online can do some research. But this guy is amazing. And I say tripod, it looks like a little hand grip and stuff. Actually the feet are inside of here. I have this guy here for uh, I have this guy here because I've been mounting it on some light stands recently. But this guy unscrews, takes a second to set up, but I mean, this guy sits perfectly on the ground, uh, table anywhere you like, metal feet, obviously you can't like move it around so much, but it's solid. But the thing that I really like about this is the ball head. Usually a lot of little tripods like this are not really built to hold anything very tightly. And so if you go, if you're looking for one of these like little tripods, uh, if you tighten it all the way, and then you put as much force as you can on the top, oh, then you can uh, tell how strong it is. Uh, this guy didn't really move. It didn't really move at all. And uh, so I've actually had a my full camera kit with a like 70 to 200 to 8 sitting on this and it did not tip over, it did not move at all. So this thing is massively solid. I think I bought it for like somewhere on second hand for 100 crowns, something like that, maybe even less. But uh, this one, this is something I'm definitely going to keep for, uh, for my entire life. This thing is, uh, it's beautiful. It's, uh, it's, it's solid. And then I have a camera strap here as well. So usually, this, so this is not exactly what I carry with me all the time. It does change depending on project, depending on day, depending on trip. But this is kind of about the, uh, how things normally look. Sometimes this gets switched out and I put, end up putting a lens in there. Uh, sometimes I have a different prism in here, so I have these guys somewhere else. So it really all depends on the uh, on the project. And one of the things that I've uh, really like about this bag is because you can customize the inside. So in here, I have some filters for like effects and everything. So these are some new ones that I've been uh, playing around with. Uh, these have been really really nice. So I usually have those in here. And then sometimes I also put just the step up rings in there since it kind of keeps it away from everything and it's one specific area. And then here, I put in an extra divider here on the top and then I actually have some gaffer tape. This is the, the colorful stuff. So this has been really nice and useful, but just kind of like knowing it's there and it kind of like creates a little steps of uh, structure to the bag. And one of the things that I find always challenging with camera backpacks is the bottom padding. Unfortunately, this bag does not have any solid padding. I actually ended up building in a bit of a foundation on the bottom. So if we take out the lens, take out the camera as well, just in case. Take out the accessories. So in here, you can see I have the padding runs down. Then you have another piece of black padding here. And then there's a 
some more padding and then there's actually for this lens there is on the bottom two things of gaff tape some nice solid ones this is uh, normally you have like the the giant roll but actually just take some old credit cards or uh, just old plastic cards room keys and such and just wrap the tape around and it fits perfectly on here You can just literally snug these in anywhere and you're good to go uh, Just remember to get them back when you give it to your friend to use because People like these they like to keep them as well So I have this like just solid down here just kind of like protect the bottom of the bag because I do actually set the bag down on the bottom very often and there is more more tape as well so that's quite nice and then I also have just shoved in the bottom uh, one of those little uh, whatever those are and then uh, these guys if you know you know if you don't know you're about to know these are shower caps you get from uh, hotel rooms when you're when you need it and you're shooting video and you have a monitor and you have all that gear throwing this on your camera will save you it has definitely saved me in uh, many times, so I usually always have these guys just shoved down here. Uh, so that kind of protects my camera stuff when I set it down. But otherwise, that is the, the camera bag. There's not much more to, to say about this guy. I still love it. It's still one of my favorites. I'll be testing out another bag from a different company in a bit. But this guy, Chrome Bags, they're close to the heart. I'll love them forever, they're awesome. And uh, yeah, hopefully they'll come out with uh, another camera bag in the near future. If not, I still have this. I don't have the second one, but I do have the original Chrome camera bag. If you guys have any other questions about uh, the bag itself or maybe the gear that I use and how I use certain gear, just uh, comment down below and I'll uh, get back to you or uh, even make a video if uh, there's enough uh, requests for it. Um, if this has helped in any way, shape or form, I would definitely appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, also give this video a like, but yeah, thank you guys and I uh, hope you guys are having an awesome uh, 2024. Uh, follow along, I'm gonna be having a lot more uh, videos pumping out this year, uh, different reviews on uh, how different products have helped me to uh, create in uh, new levels uh, maybe some other bag reviews we'll see what happens thanks and I'll see you guys later